I don't know what sort of technological revolution this is. This is a big deal. Jordan Peterson recently discussed the dangers of artificial intelligence and an AI system that is gaining immense popularity these days called ChatGPT. He explained that ChatGPT is an AI model for general language processing that was released about a week and a half ago. How many of you know what ChatGPT is? It is an artificial intelligence system that is trained on a massive corpus of text derived from the analysis of human speech. This system analyzes a large corpus of text which is continually growing. Jordan Peterson is one of the most famous faces in the world and when he decides to talk about something, the world listens because he talks with knowledge, wisdom and information. So what do his shocking warnings about AI tell us about the future of humanity? In this video, we're going to find out about that. So keep watching till the end. I, I went and interacted with it. You can, it's an AI system, artificial intelligence system. Jordan Peterson tested ChatGPT by asking it to write an essay on a 13th rule for his book Beyond Order in a style that combines the King James Bible with the Tao Te Ching. To his surprise, ChatGPT wrote a four-page essay that was grammatically perfect and philosophically impressive in about three seconds. He also asked ChatGPT to write an essay on the intersection between the Taoist version of ethical morality and the ethics outlined in the Sermon on the Mount, which it nailed in just three seconds. ChatGPT's abilities go beyond essay writing. A computer engineer who purported to work for Tesla asked ChatGPT to write 10 bullet points about what he probably would have done as an engineer at Twitter last week. He also asked ChatGPT to write the accompanying computer code that goes with each project. To his surprise, ChatGPT did that in just three seconds and the computer code worked. Isn't it shocking? In three seconds, ChatGPT can generate a computer code that works, and that software engineer needed years of dedication to write code like that. Jordan Peterson explained that ChatGPT is so advanced that a university professor tested it and found that any student can write an essay on any topic with ChatGPT. In an IQ test, ChatGPT scored as well as the average student in a well-functioning public university. This has led to the concern that if we can automate the students, we should be able to automate the professors too. Finally, someone else asked ChatGPT to write a screenplay and describe the characters for the next $900 million Hollywood blockbuster. ChatGPT generated a plot, characterizations and descriptions of the actors, and then another AI system generated photorealistic computer images for each actor. These things paint a shocking warning of what AI and ChatGPT are capable of doing in the future. Before we proceed further, we just want to ask you to hit the like button, because the AI that controls the YouTube algorithm needs that to boost our video. Jordan shares his predictions for the future of AI and its potential capabilities. The capabilities are literally limitless, but it comes with the shock factors. He suggests that AI models will soon be able to extract patterns from the world and use text, images and action to build a model of human action. He warns that this new AI will be smarter than humans and will be able to test its linguistic constructions against the real world. He starts by making a bold statement about what he believes is going to happen next, and it's equal parts shocking, equal parts thrilling. They warn their audience to get ready for what's to come, implying that it will be significant. They then introduce the idea of an AI model that can extract a model of the world from the entire corpus of language, suggesting this model will be smarter than humans. He knows that AI models are not yet as smart as they will be in two years, but it already has some significant capabilities. They note that it doesn't test its linguistic knowledge against the real world, which is what scientists do. However, he suggests that the new AI system will soon be able to extract patterns from the world itself, including images and more. He says that the most advanced models will use text, image and action to build a model that will literally mimic human action. This will be a significant breakthrough as it will allow AI to better understand and interact with the world. He warns that this new AI will be much smarter than humans, and it will be able to test its linguistic constructions against the real world. Jordan Peterson shares his anxiety about the consequences of humanity's increasing reliance on technology. He thinks we are playing with toys, with the implication being that the more advanced the technology, the more responsible we need to be in using it. And he feels that we are playing with dangerous tools. Peterson mentions a comment by a friend of his, a religious thinker named Jonathan Pajot, who predicts that giants will walk the earth again due to the advancements in technology. Peterson notes 
that we are already androids, and that when we use platforms like Twitter, we are already engaging in the realm of technology. Peterson then goes on to discuss the problems of anonymous trolls on Twitter, whom he labels as troll demons. He suggests that these individuals have the characteristics of the dark tetrad of personality traits, psychopathy, Machiavellianism, narcissism, and sadism, and that these traits are amplified when such individuals are given free reign to behave anonymously online. Peterson suggests that the technology enables psychopathy, as it allows individuals to engage in behavior they would not be able to in normal social situations. Peterson argues that technology has outstripped our ethical development as a society, noting that our technology has advanced at an unprecedented rate while our ethical development has not kept pace. He mentions Carl Jung's study of alchemy, which he suggests was motivated by the desire to find a substance that would grant immortality, health, and wealth. Jung believed that the promise of the matter was what impelled alchemy, and from alchemy emerged science, which made us into technological giants. However, the ethical dimension of alchemy did not expand at the same rate as the technological dimension, leaving us as primitive children on the ethical front with the tools of gods. Peterson warns that this is a dangerous situation and that our over-reliance on technology may have fatal consequences for humanity. Jordan Peterson believes that it is necessary for us to take on an ethical responsibility that is commensurate with our technological power. Peterson thinks that the re-evaluation of good and evil, which is the deepest of all possible religious evaluations, is required to cope with this responsibility. He states that the AI giant is coming, and we will see it in the next two or three years because technology is moving so quickly that even those who are on top of it cannot keep up. Peterson emphasizes that we are at a crossroads where we could have everything we could dream of if we were careful, but we could have a nightmare beyond contemplation if we are not. As we become technologically more powerful, every individual becomes more powerful, and that means the corruption of the individual starts to become more and more of a world destabilizing force. He states that the connection means our power is multiplied, which obviously means that our sins are multiplied too. Peterson warns that a totalitarian state can only thrive if every single person in the state lies. He cites Solzhenitsyn's claim that one man who stops lying can bring down tyranny. Peterson asserts that we are facing giants marching towards us and we better be prepared for what is to come. In conclusion, Peterson urges everyone to get their act together and be prepared for the AI giant that is coming. Jordan Peterson has a deep understanding of responsibility and how it shapes our actions. He believes that every individual is not just responsible for what they do, but also for what everyone else does. This realization can be overwhelming, but it's a burden that we must take on for the sake of everyone. It's a daunting thought, but we can't evade responsibility because it's an integral part of our lives. He presents two views of the world, one where life is meaningless and what we do doesn't matter, and the other where everything we do matters. The former view is a dismal and nihilistic view of the world, but it relieves us of any responsibility. On the other hand, the latter view is more terrifying because it means that every action we take has an impact on the world and it's our responsibility to ensure that it's a positive impact. Jordan believes that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Every single thing we do matters. Every word we say constitutes reality and every word we say tilts the world towards heaven or hell. We're responsible for the world we create and it's up to us to make sure that we're bringing the world toward heaven. Can't get enough of AI? Here are some awesome videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the world of AI. Thanks for watching.